when the point rainfall data are available for several years, we can attempt to construct IDF curve for the station. IDF is the short form of intensity duration frequency. It represents the relationship between rainfall intensity, storm duration, and probability of accidents, which may also be expressed in return period. In this video, we will demonstrate the steps to develop the IDF curve under different return periods based on the point rainfall data from only one station. Recalling the maximum rainfall depth we obtained in the previous video on the derivation of maximum intensity duration relationship. Let's assume those values are the maximum annual depth for corresponding rainfall duration for the year 2000. As for the storm duration, we only focus on 5, 10, 15 and 30 minutes, as well as 1, 2, 6, 12 and 24 hours. Data for the remaining cells should be obtained from the same procedure. Here we just assume the derivation of maximum intensity duration relationship has been repeated for all these durations and years. This completed table is what we have at the end of the process. It will serve as the input for the development of IDF curve. For each rainfall duration, we need to determine the mean and standard deviation of rainfall depth over the 21-year period. Next, we should choose our ARI to proceed. For this scenario, we will develop the IDF curve for 2, 10, 50 and 100 years ARI. After that, we can determine the frequency factor for each of them. Then, we should calculate the rainfall depth for specific storm duration and ARI by using this formula. Not that, we should convert the rainfall depth to rainfall intensity simply by dividing the depth with corresponding storm duration. At this point, we can plot the curve of rainfall intensity against rainfall duration for each ARI. These curves are now known as IDF curve. We can fit the intensity duration frequency relationship using one general formula. To do this with ease, we may use the solver from Microsoft Excel. Let's prepare two sets of data one extracted from the point rainfall data, while the other is calculated using the general equation. As for now, all the fitting constants are zero. To check the adequacy of our fitting constants, we will ask the Excel to calculate the square error for all the data pairs, and eventually root mean square error RMSE for both sets of data. To use the solver, we first set the root mean square error as our objective. We aim to minimize the error. Then, we set all four fitting constants as our manipulating variables. After setting all of this, we will be able to obtain the appropriate fitting constants as well as the resultant RMSE. The calculated fitting constants are only usable for this specific rainfall gauge station. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We will see you guys soon. Goodbye.